Prompt engineering is dead. Well, at least in the way we used to think about it. If you're just typing clever prompts into ChatGPT, then you're already behind. Let me show you why. In this video, I'm going to show you how prompt engineering has evolved and why context engineering is what you need to know in 2025. I'll walk you through the new techniques, what roles are changing, and how to use this in your workflow. And this isn't just theory. This is how people are actually using AI to build systems for themselves. So let's jump in. But to start, let's go back to basics. What is a prompt? A prompt, put very simply, is a question or an instruction that you give to an AI tool like Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, to tell it what response you need. And prompt responses can vary dramatically depending on how good your prompt is. You can compare it like asking a friend for help. If you say, I'm hungry, they might suggest somewhere random to go. But if you say something like, I'm craving spicy vegetarian noodles and I only have 10 minutes to eat, you'll get something way more specific to what you want. The same goes for AI. Clear, detailed prompts get better results. But here's a challenge. If you give too little context, an AI tool may search the whole internet and all its documents and give you an answer that's way far off what you specifically want. On the other hand, if you give way too much context, that might actually overwhelm an AI tool and it'll give you a bad response as well. And that's why we've started seeing a lot of people using prompting frameworks, which put simply is basically just a way to frame your prompt so you get a good response. For example, I like using the Ricky framework, which is role, intent, condition, context, and examples. So let me show you what this looks like in practice. So let's try a prompt first without a prompting framework. Write a LinkedIn post about eco-friendly travel accessories. So we get a post, but it's not exactly what I wanted. It's a pretty generic post about traveling light and traveling right. Let's try it with the prompting framework. For the role, you are a senior travel copywriter. The intent, draft a LinkedIn post that drives clicks to our shop. Condition, 150 to 180 words, friendly but expert tone, and include one emoji. Context, the audience is sustainability-minded professionals between 25 and 40, and the brand voice is upbeat and data-backed. And here's an example, small swaps create big impact, ask me how. Packing light makes space for the planet too. So let's see how this does. And there you go, we get a response that's way closer to what we actually want. The framework has structured our prompt in a way that allows us to get an answer that we were hoping for. Now, this is just one prompting framework. You may have seen plenty of others that other people are using. But one thing that keeps popping up in a lot of these frameworks that I've noticed is one word, and that word is context. Because great outputs really depend on what the model knows before it starts answering. And this is where traditional prompt engineering is evolving into something much more than what it was before. And that brings us to the big shift that is happening right now. Prompting is just one part of the bigger picture. We've entered the age of context engineering. It's not just about what you ask, but it's also about what the model knows when you ask it. You're basically curating everything that surrounds the prompt. Examples, background information, instructions, relevant data, previous conversations, user preferences, and project history. So let me show you the difference very quickly. Let's try a very simple prompt. And yes, I know we're not using the framework, but I just want to keep it simple for this one. Write a blog about sustainable fashion. So this is a pretty decent blog, but it may not be relevant for exactly what I'm trying to portray. However, with context engineering, we can add preloaded customer data, brand voice, previous articles, sustainability metrics, competitor analysis, SEO keywords to give the prompt more of an understanding of what is relevant for this blog post. So let's say as an example, we upload all these docs and do the exact same prompt, write a blog post about sustainable fashion. And here you go. The model has acknowledged all of the context that I've given it, and it's writing a blog post that is more suitable to what I'm trying to achieve. You can even see the tone of voice is different. It's optimizing for keywords. So getting a way better response just because I've given the model more context. The main challenge right now for context engineering is context windows. This is basically the amount of information you can give the model that I can reasonably comprehend in a prompt. Context windows are limited. You can't just throw everything in and hope for the best. You need to create the right context, not too much and not too little. And that balance is where the real craft of context engineering lives. So what specific trends are really driving this shift to context engineering? So here are the five biggest developments that I am seeing. 
And the first one is mega prompts. These are long structured blocks of information with tons of information and clarity. So similar to the example that I just showed, instead of asking for a marketing email, you might provide your brand voice guide, previous successful emails, customer data points, product details, and compliance requirements, all in one massive prompt that creates a rich environment for the AI to work within. The second one is adaptive prompting. AI tools now adjust the responses in real time based on behavior. This means that your prompts aren't static. They evolve as you interact. A good example of this is ChatGPT's memory function. It remembers your preferences, previous conversations, and frequently used prompts so you don't have to repeat yourself. If you keep refining requests in a certain direction, the AI learns your preferences and applies them automatically to future outputs. I did a video on ChatGPT's memory function and you can check it out using the link in the description below. The third one is multimodal prompting. So this is where context engineering really shines. You're no longer limited to just a text input. You can now send voice notes with tone and emphasis that text can capture, images that provide visual context or inspiration, videos that demonstrate what you're trying to achieve, PDFs and documents that establish knowledge bases, and even code snippets that set technical parameters. All of these become part of your context, not just your prompt. For example, you can upload a product image, add voice instructions about your target audience, include a competitor's video, and get back marketing copy that perfectly integrates all these contextual elements. Can you help me draft a product description for the product in the photo above? Please keep the price under £149. So the fourth one is recursive self-improvement prompting. So this is where the AI critiques its own answer and makes it better. Let's imagine this conversation. Write a sales email. Now improve it again by making it shorter. But now what we're seeing is that people are incorporating this feedback loop into their prompt. Write a sales email for the recycled nylon weekender bag, then self-critique for persuasiveness, then apply those improvements and shorten to under 120 words, return all three stages clearly labeled as A, B, and C. So this really changes how we think about output quality and improves the overall context of what we want. And finally, auto prompting. A lot of AI tools now write the prompts for you themselves. This makes a lot of tools more powerful for users, especially non-technical ones. So as an example, suggest the most effective prompt to get an AI to create a 60 second TikTok video script for the recycled nylon weekender bag. And here you go, you have ChatGPT telling you what prompt to use to get the best output. I did a video on AI prompting hacks and you can check it out using the link in the description. So all these trends have one thing in common. They're moving beyond what you ask to what surrounds your request. How can we start implementing context engineering today? So here are some simple but powerful techniques that I've seen people start using. First is build reference guides and documentation. So for example, you might want to create reusable documents that you have for your brand voice, for certain processes that you can just refer to whenever you are doing a prompt. This saves you having to rewrite those instructions every time and you can just refer to the same document. Use the attached brand voice guide while drafting the landing page hero copy. The second one is ask AI what context it needs. So before diving into a complex task, try asking, what information would you need from me to create the best possible marketing email for a new product? The AI will tell you exactly what context would help for it to perform better. The third one is use memory features strategically. Tools like ChatGPT allow you to save important context and recall it in future conversations. You can instruct ChatGPT which memories you want it to save and which ones aren't relevant. So make sure you choose the memories that are most strategically important to what you're trying to achieve. And finally, build context libraries. So start collecting useful prompts, different pieces of context, and examples that have worked really well for you in the past. Alongside your reference guides and documentation, you can use these and refer back to them whenever you need. Over time, you'll create a powerful toolkit that you can mix and match for any project you like. Just remember to update them as your goals and tasks and ambitions change over time. So if you're still thinking of AI as this magic genie who just wants clever words to get your output, you need to update your thinking. Prompt Engineering 2.0 is about systems thinking. It's shaping the environment so models can reason and not just respond. If you start applying these context engineering techniques, you'll start to see your AI outputs drastically improve. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about context engineering? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.